All right, bud, what you want on your hot dog? You want a uh, mustard? You want ketchup? That's how we got. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Coco's Creates. I'm here in the apartment having a lovely day. It's a lovely Sunday, and I have some snackies here in front of me. So, I have Doritos Hot Mustard, as well as Doritos Tangy Ketchup. So these have, uh, these came out fairly recently. Um, I think they've been out for a little bit now. Um, but first time seeing them this weekend, I saw them. In fact, actually, it was Emily who spotted them. And then she was like, Coleman, you should review that. And I was like, ooh, maybe I will review that. Um, because it seems downright, I don't know if scrumptious is the word. Uh, I know ketchup chips are pretty common, but I don't know if they're... I don't think ketchup chips taste like ketchup, as far as I'm aware. I've had them at some point, but it's it's been a long time. At least your typical ketchup chips. But these are Doritos ketchup chips, so maybe they'll be different. Maybe they'll taste more like ketchup. But hot mustard, I don't know. I'm kind of a hit or miss mustard guy. I think sometimes mustard's really good. I think sometimes it's not great. I'm not like a yellow mustard guy. I'm like a Dijon or like a brown mustard, kind of somewhere within there. Um, so, and obviously, I mean, this bag is very yellow, uh, so right away I'm a little skeptical about, uh, this mustard flavor, but, I mean, we're here to try it, we're gonna give it a fair shake, uh, see if it tastes like mustard, see if it just tastes good in general, you know, all the good stuff that you do when you're reviewing food. And then over here we got, uh, our tangy ketchups, um, so these, I don't know, I think they'll probably be alright, I hope they don't taste too much like ketchup. Because too much like ketchup, they probably wouldn't be alright. But maybe I do hope they taste like ketchup to be true to, like, the flavor, you know? Um, for, for those people that really do just love ketchup. I was trying to set up the bags, but that didn't work. Our, our ketchup's staying strong, but mustard mustard was a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aggravated about that. Um, so yeah, so I got these at Kroger. Um, I got them, so they were, uh, I believe... For, so they're four nineteen each. Uh, that's with some Kroger savings, though. I saved a dollar thirty on each. So typically, they'd be close to like six dollars a bag. I don't, I don't buy a lot of Doritos. I don't know if that's standard Dorito price. But that feels a little expensive, right? Um, but there was the Kroger savings, so you know we got we got away with a little bit, a little a little deal off the top there. Um, so yeah, so. Uh, now which to choose? Which to choose between these two fierce warriors? Um, I think there's only one way to do it, and that's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. My mother said to pick the very best one, and you are it. We're starting with ketchup. Um, so, this is my more anticipated one, but also, I don't know if anybody watching this video has eaten straight ketchup, I'm sure you have at some point, um, it's not great, it's not great just ketchup alone, so, this, this flavor could be really nasty, um, or it could be that kind of muted, traditional ketchup chip flavor, um, that is very common. I think it's like a European snack, maybe. Maybe it's more of a, a Canadian snack? I don't know. I don't know exactly where ketchup chips originate from, but... They smell... They smell ketchup-y, but almost with like a hint of barbecue, maybe? Hmm. Alright, let's pull one out here. We'll get a nice one here. You can see, um, color looks pretty similar to like a nacho cheese Dorito. Um, but I'm assuming that it's not going to taste like a nacho cheese Dorito. It smells like ketchup. I'm a little nervous now all of a sudden. I just got like very, very nervous quickly. Um, but there's no time for nerves here. Cheers. Okay. So it does tastes like ketchup, but uh, but it's not like an overbearing ketchup taste, I'd say. Yeah, the flavor there is clearly ketchup, but it's not punching you in the face with ketchup. 
until you're begging for mercy. It's um, it's much more easy to digest, easy to eat than that. Uh, I gotta say, these are munchable. These are munchable. These will get munched. I could see maybe the flavor getting a bit much if you ate like a whole bag in one sitting. But for a little munch every now and then, those are quite nice. So with that being said, I think I'd have to rate our uh, tangy ketchup Doritos. I think I'd have to give them like a 7.9 out of 10. I think as I was eating them, the flavor kind of kind of mooned on me. That's not that's not a word. That's not a like saying. Um, and kind of like as I ate, uh, the flavor just became a bit much. Um, but I think for a couple little chips here and there, and I wasn't like at the point where I was like, these are gross now. I was just kind of at the point where I was like, yeah, I can only eat like maybe five more of these, 10 more maybe. Um, so that's, that's my thoughts there. Now we break in the hot mustard here. <laughs> they smell, um, okay, now, now that the initial like burst of air is gone, they actually smell like almost nothing, but they smelled like vinegary at first. Um, let's go ahead and take one out and then we'll smell it individually. This one, very yellow. Uh, honestly, if you were showing me this, I would think it's just a plain corn chip, uh, but you can't see a couple, like, specks of flavoring on there. So, uh, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really smell like mustard, though. Let's find out. Cheers. Oh, it tastes like mustard. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not a good flavor. I'm gonna eat one more uh, for you know for for the for the vid for the fans. Make sure that I didn't just get a bad one on my first taste. But that that is not a pleasant uh, taste to have in your mouth. Yeah. Um, if you're the kind of person that really, really loves mustard, um, then you will probably like these because it is like a dump truck of mustard has just like entered into your mouth and it's dumping. Um, wow. Uh, it starts off tasting just like, just like it has like a little heat on your tongue cause it is hot mustard. It's got a little heat on your tongue. It doesn't taste bad. And then you like do your first chew. Ugh. And you get like full mustard, just like, ugh, assaulting the senses. That is, that is not fun. Um, I do not recommend these ones. The ketchup ones aren't too bad. Uh, I do not recommend the, the mustard. That was, that was gross. Um, so if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I think I'd give it like a, Maybe like a 2.3, um, because the taste at first is not terrible, but very quickly it devolves into being a bad taste. Um, so yeah, I do not recommend getting the hot mustard ones, but maybe there's some mustard heads out there that this is your cup of tea. Uh, but it is not mine as a casual uh, mustard enjoyer. Um, so, I think that's just about all I have to say about these items. Um, if you like this item, or, uh, wait, whoa, 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 if you like this video, go ahead and drop that like. If you didn't like this video, it's okay to dislike. But let me know what you didn't like about it. If you're like, Coleman, you're disrespecting mustard. I'll be like, that's my opinion. But you're entitled to yours, too. Uh, but just let me know what you didn't like so I can make these videos better for you. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there. You can comment first, all that good stuff. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell. Ding. Just like that. And YouTube will send you a post, whatever I post, whatever it is, you can be the first one there, you can comment first, all that good stuff. If you look in the description, you'll find links to the Cocos Create Instagram, Cocos Create TikTok, and Cocos Create Twitter. We're posting little updates on videos, little extra stuff, um, just, just certain things on there uh, for you to check out if you're craving a little extra Cocos content. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!